Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, September 5, 1962, the Chicago Hyde Park Herald published an article entitled, University Sells Inherited Mansion in Natchez for Scholarship Funds. The mansion, known as Devereux, had been bequeathed to the University of Chicago by Myra Virginia Smith, a Chicago high school teacher who had purchased and restored the estate. Constructed in 1836 for William St. John Elliott and his wife Anna Connor, Devereux is considered one of the finest examples of Greek Revival architecture in Natchez, noted for its perfection of proportion and academic rendering of its structural and decorative detail. It is also one of the first structures in Natchez to feature a cupola and a monumental full-length two-story portico. After Mrs. Elliott's death in 1876, the estate began a slow decline until Smith purchased the property in 1925. Smith recalled her first impression of the house. The galleries were sagging, plaster was coming down, rats had eaten through the baseboards, silverfish had devoured the wallpaper, and 200 panes of glass were needed. But I was entranced. The house was dilapidated, but it had a grandeur that fascinated me. I felt I had to own it. After her initial restoration, Devereux became one of the major attractions of the Natchez Spring Pilgrimage. After Smith's death, the university sold the house, the grounds, and an adjoining 48.6 acre tract, and following the donor's wishes, used the proceeds to establish six scholarship funds honoring the memory of Smith's parents, her brother, Dr. Raymond Smith, and herself. This fall, Devereux will once again be on tour as part of the Natchez Fall Pilgrimage. Hi, I'm Jenna Aldridge, and this is Sadie. My husband and I are the current owners of Devereux, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.